This is an Adlar Pro video. Adlar Pro is a project funded by the European Union. This video is made available to you on a Creative Commons license. Hello, I'm Anna Matamala from UAB and in this Adlar Pro video, I will explain what VoiceOver is. This is Unit 2, VoiceOver, in Module 5, Additional Services. When working as a describer, you may have to write ADs for original productions. For instance, an AD in English for an English film. However, you may also have to create ADs for content originally produced in another language and then translate it using subtitles, voiceover or dubbing. Let's talk about voiceover. Voiceover is used to revoice fiction in some Eastern European countries, Poland, Bulgaria, Russia, etc., and to revoice non-fictional content in many more. For example, in Spain, fiction has traditionally been dubbed, but non-fiction is generally voiced over. The map on screen shows the distribution of the so-called dubbing, subtitling and voiceover countries in Europe. The key feature of voiceover is that you hear a voice on top of the original voice. Don't get confused if someone uses the term voiceover to refer to an off-screen narrator. This is film studies terminology, different from translation studies terminology. In voiceover, there are three types of synchronies. Voiceover synchrony, action synchrony and kinetic synchrony. When creating a voiceover, the starting point is an original audiovisual content that needs to be translated for a certain audience. A professional produces a written translation, which is then read loud, generally by a voice talent and superimposed on the original soundtrack. Oral language is often rephrased in the process to fit in the space available and to make it more understandable to the audience. Hesitations, false starts or repetitions are often deleted. A voiceover is not a live interpreting, although the effect is quite similar, a voice on top of a voice. It is not subtitling, although in certain language pairs there is some content reduction in the process. And it is not a dubbing, because there is no lip sync. A voiceover is generally recorded by a voice with a neutral accent and a flat intonation. Although this practice is in the process of changing, just have a look at Spanish voiced over reality shows. Sometimes there is only one voice for all the characters, for example, Polish TV voiceover. Sometimes there is a male and a female voice talent, for example, Lithuanian voiceover of TV films. And sometimes there is one voice talent per character, as in Spanish documentaries. Depending on whether the voiceover is created in a production or post-production process, the work involved will be different. For instance, in production, translators generally work without a script. As a describer, it is important that you are aware of the main features of voiceover and how they may affect your work, especially in terms of synchronization. Well, this was just a short introduction. You may want to read the book Voiceover Translation and Overview to learn a bit more. The preparation of this presentation was supported by AdLab Pro, audio description, a laboratory for the development of a new professional profile financed by the European Union under the Erasmus Plus programme. Key Action 2. Strategic Partnerships. Project number 20161IT02 KA20302431. The information and views set out in this presentation are those of the authors and do not necessarily reflect the official opinion of the European Union. Neither the European Union institutions and bodies nor any person acting on their behalf may be held responsible for the use which may be made of the information contained therein. This was an AdLab Pro video. AdLab Pro partners are University of Trieste, Universitat Autonoma di Barcelona, University of Antwerp, Adam Miskevich University, RTV Slovenia, Utopian Voices, Sound Focus and Royal National Institute of Blind People. AdLab Pro was funded by the European Union. This video was made available to you on a Creative Commons license.